Hi, this is Nick George with Klaus Diamond Sharpening just to show you a uh, clipper blade demonstration on sharpening a, on a block versus a professional sh clipper blade sharpening wheel. I've been sharpening for 20 years and sharpened over 500,000 blades in my time. I worked for Andis Lobby Oster Wall Service Center uh, fixing their equipment and I'm here to show you the benefits of using a repair professional clipper blade sharpening wheel. Okay, this is a flat diamond block uh, 325 mesh. So what that means is it's a little finer than most sandpaper. Um, it's a flat surface. Uh, sharpeners use it to sharpen ceramic cutters, but they put shape onto the comb. Um, this is a tester pattern. What it does is shows you what part of the blades are actually rubbing and it's a flat block. And this is a scissor um, finisher. It takes off burrs and stuff. And we're gonna show how this does not convex like a professional wheel either. Okay, um, so you put this blade on here flat. Um, make sure you do not round the teeth. And I still do not recommend doing this, um, but you can get it to get through your day but don't do all your blades because this takes off life of your blades and it doesn't last as long and I'll show you why in this video um, so basically okay well that's not done because you see a little tan still a little more so it's still not done Okay, so there it is. So nice and flat, dull is what I call it. Um, so now we'll go over here. Still can't see it. Okay, so if you notice, it's just the middle is hollowed out, and even if you get a flat pattern, that's when blades go dull. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what it's supposed to look like, and we'll go to the sharpening wheel. So when a blade goes dull, all right, let's draw this. So this pattern is like this. So that means it's going to cut on the sides, and then you're going to have to push the tension down for it to cut in the middle which it, it'll last for a little bit um, and then sometimes you use a block depending on where you push on the blade and it'll go straight across straight across like this and take that so that will work too but if you notice it doesn't it just so it has a straight line so when any of the metal comes up on the sides or anything, it's gonna pull right there. So you're damaging your blade because it has to have shape. So that's basically most most of the time when you do a block, but I know how to sharpen, so it actually turned out better than that. But now here's how it's supposed to look. Let me clean this off. So this is what you're gonna see on my wheel. And this, Okay, so you see there's a little light up here and then down here it has more. So what happened is all the teeth where, the, where it's light are going to pinch and that's what you want. So as this gets dull, this, this ball shape goes away and it gets flatter and flatter. And then all of a sudden your blade's barely cutting and then this is gone and now we're completely flat like a block. And it's still going to cut for a few days, maybe, if you're lucky. And then all of a sudden, it just doesn't cut because the line ends up being way down here. And it doesn't work. So now let's go to the wheel and see what happens. Alright, so here's the black. 
So we're gonna go ahead and do this now. So if you notice, it's already hollowing this middle out. See, and the teeth are shiny up there. It's already looking good. This is 1500 grade diamond, which means it's really fine. And there's a convex pattern, which is perfect to me. I love it. Everybody always cuts. So you can still see the sides are a little flat over here. So now I'm going to have, here's the second time I sharpen. So I go about 20 passes each time I sharpen. Um, so this will be my third time sharpening because it's still a little dull on the sides. Trying to put that shape back in there. Don't run it backwards to get that shape back in there, but I'm just removing life because I use that block. I'm just wasting blade life. Still a little dull on the sides. I don't like that. That was pretty good, but there's still a little more. Okay, so that's perfect. It looks flat, but it's not. Come over here. Okay. So let's check the pattern real fast. So this shows me the pattern. So you see the ball shape in it, you can barely see it. I'll make it on the mark right here. So that's what it looks like. So what happens here is the edge of the teeth are pinching all the way across and this gets flatter and flatter like I showed earlier and then once it's flat it's gonna start pulling on the sides and it's not gonna it'll cut in the middle but I'm not on the sides you won't be hitting like Mike Tyson that's for sure okay now there's the blade still has the black stuff on it we'll just leave it on there uh, now sharpen the ceramic cutter the diamond sharpens it because it's so hard it's a uh, harder than dirt or sand ba sand blasting dust or sandpaper. Okay, some shade. Now other sharpening there is other sharpening wheels that are not like this and they do do the job better than a block also and they are professional sharpeners also. Okay, so now let me show you what this cutter looks like because it won't show on the block. So that's what the cutter looks like, the pattern. Love it. You see how the teeth are showing? And that's good because now it's going to match up and they're both going to pinch and it will cut for a long time. Let's put this back together. So you want these teeth behind this comb because this is a comb, this is a cutter. The cutter cuts the hair and if it's over the comb blade then it's going to cut your skin and move hair around and will not cut hair. You want about two pounds of pressure. You can check it on a gauge if you slide it apart and put it on, on a scale and then push down if it says two pounds, which that is. So that's good. 
Uh, well, go sideways here. So now you look down the teeth and it's perfectly straight. I don't know if you can see that. A little oil across the front of the teeth, across the guide, and the back runners. Start up your clipper, pop it on, and give it a test of synthetic hair. show this how this does not hollow out a blade it'll hollow it out but it doesn't hollow it out to the tip of the teeth like a professional sharpening wheel does so I took this blade apart here my marked up blade um, and then we'll try to run it back and forth on this thousand strain finishing scissor sharpener so now we look at it and see so let's get a marker so you can see this here. So I can see there's shiny here and shiny here. So what it's doing is it don't go to the tip of the teeth. So it's gonna pull in the middle of the blade and it'll cut a little bit on the sides. So, so thank you for this wonderful adventure. It's been a fun time. Uh, yes, you can use a block to get point A, point B, but I wouldn't recommend it if you're a professional barber. Use a professional sharpener. There's many of them out there. I'm one and there's others, a lot of them. Um, but don't take my video for proof. Just try me out and be the happiest you've ever been and enjoy your job. And send them in today, do not delay.